against all eyes, mama, I made it You already know it's your favorite I'm living my dreams, mama, I made it You already know it's your favorite You already know it's your favorite You already know it's your favorite What's up, y'all? It's DJ Duro here for another episode of Fatherhood Fraternity And guess who's with me? Yay! So, um, we are actually having a kid-free weekend um, finally, we don't get too many of these, and I think that as parents, we kind of forget how important it is to be able to have these weekends. I, I can just even speak personally that most of the time I'm dealing with just being myself as a worker, as a father and a husband, and not just like as a regular person. We don't have our time to really kick it, um, have excitement. Do you agree? Disagree? I agree. It was yeah. fun. We had a blast. So what we did this weekend um, without Ava is that we did a little quick road trip to Philadelphia. We went to the Roots Picnic. If you remember our in the first season when I talked about why we loved each other so much is that we're able to travel and kick and have really the same type of things that we want to do when we go out of town. So in 2015, we went to the um, Roots Picnic, saw Erica Badu. This time we went trying to see Dave Chappelle, 2 Chains, and Brandy, but it got kind of rained out. Um, but we still have fun. We have fun for um, just a quick road trip. How many hours was it to drive? Six and a half, so it wasn't bad. Yeah, so um, we got here airbnb went around the city, got some cheesesteaks for her. Yeah. Took some photos. Enjoyed our time before we went to the concert. Um, got to see who we see. We saw Cameron, um, Division, Black, Ti. Ti popped up out of nowhere with DJ Drama. Um, who else did we see? Drawing a blank. Uzi Bird at Starbucks. Little Uzi Bird. We got into it with <laughs> Rich the Kid at Star Starbucks. We actually saw that. That's been like on Shade Room, and that happened like right two seconds in front of us. Right before we got to that corner, they were just um, running away. I was like, hey, that looked like Lil Uzi Vert getting into an argument, and then next thing we know, that happened. But it's just those type of things where we get to be adults and have fun and enjoy each other, um, not just as parents. Like, we can sleep in. Yeah. Um, but the thing that we still do as parents is that every time there's a joke, we talk about Ava, or, or anything that Ava would do in the situation that we're doing, we bring her up. Like, how funny she is with her reactions to things, her little words, and like, it's just every little thing, we almost kind of bring Ava into it without even thinking about it. But that's a part of being a parent. I mean, we love our daughter, we love each other, and we um, love having fun. It's been good having a, a kid-free weekend. We're on our way back now, um, doing our traditional um, stop at the gas station sheets where we get our, our good snacks and food. The best gas station. So when we go on a road trip, we try to have like good snacks um, and good music. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> Hot popcorn is definitely on the list. What's some other snacks that you gotta get when you go on a road trip? Pop. Pop. We never drink pop. But on road trips, so we drink pop. Pop the energy drinks because I'm not trying to fall asleep. <laughs> um, candy, what kind of candy do you like for road trips? Hershey's, Kit Kats, all the chocolates. Um, sour candy for me, um, gummy worms, things like that. And music, music is a definite thing. What is your, what's on your playlist of songs that you gotta hear or albums you gotta hear when you're on a road trip? Destiny's Child. Complete discography, <laughs> Beyonce, everything, Erica Badu, everything. For me, it's usually kind of oh, Danity uh, Kane. Danity Kane, love man, I just, that's a <laughs> Generational gap because I'm just not into that. For me, it kind of depends on where we're going. If, like when we're going to the concert, I want to hear the music of the people that we're going to see. So um, that was a playlist that I made sure we put together before we came here. Um, I always want to hear something I can sing. So Brandy kind of goes almost with every thing. I grew up on Brandy. Tony Braxton is on both of our lists. So that's something that we both will sing and laugh together with. Um, what else do I listen to? Project Pat. Project Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so a lot of 3-6 Mafia. That is definitely will keep me hype. If I'm on my last leg, which was how it was at the time, throwing some Project Pat, and I'm going to talk about 3-6 Mafia and how it was in my teenage years. So, yeah, those are things that we look um, that I always listen to when we're on the road. But it's, it's those type of things that make it fun. Um, 
and we're on our way back and we'll see our daughter in a little bit. My mom got her now and I'm sure she's having fun um, seeing how sassy she is and definitely all the time she says no. Like, tell them how, how Ava says no now. Oh, the screaming though? Yes. How does Ava scream? She's, she's going to have to show you that herself. <laughs> she's like, no! Yeah. But yeah, it's just fun. We've had our time. See, just how we just brought Ava into this conversation. But us being parents, we, this allows us to still kick it, date, have fun, and be adults and sleep in. And, and those type of, yeah, we don't really get to do that too often. So Ava, we missed you, but uh, we had to have our, our parents weekend. So time to go. Yeah, we got like we two, hungry. We like two and a half hour drive left and we'll be home. Bye bye. Till next time.